You know what it is, Hot 97, your boy Hip Hop Mike in the building. Now listen, I've only done a couple of video um, interviews so far, okay? Yeah. I have a special guest here that last time we did audio, but he's been blowing up so much, doing such big things, and has a project on the way that we had to get the cameras right. That's a fact. Two two G's in the building. Sniper the blicky blicky, what's good, bro? <laughs> what's happening, man? Shit, my mixtape is out now. Go stream it on all platforms, you feel me? That's a fact. And you went crazy with the mixtape. Yeah. Uh, what was the thought process in putting it together? And when did you start working on the mixtape? I mean, I started a while ago <laughs> working on the mixtape and um, basically just cooking up that heat, you know, and just pick out the best songs out of the ones I got, you feel me? Just put it together like that. Shout out to my man, Ted the Dawn. You feel me? He got about two tracks on the mixtape. All right. Shout out to Ed, Peter, Nick, all the producers on the tape, man. DZ, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. It's lit, man. Shout out to all y'all. Shout mm. out to Chef 2, Chef Pasquale too. That's a fact. Oh, Chef Pasquale go crazy. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Chef, man. How did you decide what producers you was going to work with? You just got tons and tons. Cause I know people are probably sending you beats like crazy. I mean, my son Nick, that's my engineer. <laughs> Pete, my man, you feel me? Ted, that's my bro too, you feel me? So I really cooked up two with Ted and then Nick played his shit. I jumped on that shit, the homo shit. It was fire, you feel me? So big family vibes in the studio. That's a fact. Uh, how many records is on his tape now? 12. 12. How many did you record that you had to pick from? Huh? He said 12 in a clip. Yeah. How many did you uh, record that you had to pick from? Did you go through like 100 records and narrow it down to 12? Or he, got these way more, he got way more than I got that. some <laughs> shit. I told you I got a bunch of shit. I'm about to probably drop another mixtape right behind this one. So just stay tuned, you heard? See, one thing that I love about you two, two Gs, is I feel like when people talk about artists these days, they be like, oh, nah, this is a clout artist. This guy got bars. This guy's in, like, there's so many different worlds. And there's so few artists that operate in every single world and are smooth to be on some trap shit just as much as on some hood shit, on some rap shit. Is that an approach or is it just who you are that some days you want to turn the fuck up and some days you more on like, I'm going to get spicy and talk some shit and lay low? I'm on vibes. <laughs> Y'all know me, so I'm a vibe down nigga. I'll be chilling, son. Nah. So I know, but yeah, I'll be chilling, you feel me? Like, vibes out, so... That's what it be about in the studio. I just be... Whatever the vibe is, that's how we rocking, you feel me? If it's lit... Any type of party, we gonna talk that <laughs> lit shit. You feel me? If we feeling down today, we feeling like we wanna be on that bullshit, we gonna talk that drill shit. I know how it go, bro. Real shit. It's yeah. really about the energy. We ain't always on like bullshit. I'll be chilling, my nigga. You feel me? That's you, lame. He says it's really about the energy and the atmosphere. Yeah, that's a fact. Where did y'all create most of this project? In New York? Were you, cause I know you traveling around. Were you somewhere else doing this? All over. Shit, I'm gonna say LA and New York. All right. Mainly, I make my best songs in L.A. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> what is it about the L.A. like air and the energy out there that gives you that kind of vibe? And what do you need to come back to New York to finish up on? Shit, it's probably the weed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> in New York, my engineer, he, he mastered it and shit for me. So I get the best sound after I record it in New York. You feel me? Got you. So you go out there, you vibe out on like the low key. Because the weed, I'm sure, calms you down a little bit. You could say that would be high as fuck. <laughs> Shit, I think the indigo calm you down the, the um, indi <laughs> the, the sativa um, lifts you up. The sativa lift you up. You feel me? Like bro said, yeah. So you out here wilding out. You got the project out now. What's coming to complement the project? You working on a video release? You working on some merch? Cause you know we need some two two G's merch. You got a different vision with the drip. <laughs> Shit, I could <laughs> looks, bro. You feel me? I got I got some merch coming soon. Mad videos. Y'all know I like to flood the streets. Shit on a whole lot of heat. That's all I'm gonna say. Just <laughs> stream the mixtape. It's out today. You feel me? Tune I, in, man. We lit. I gotta ask you. I know this. the vibes. Nothing but heat coming from me. Y'all know that shit. <laughs> and it's not one direction. Free Kodak Black. You feel me? Free the gang. Y'all know the vibes, man. Free SRK too. Gang shit. Y'all y'all saying a lot of shit. I yeah. got two things to address. On one, what what did you just say? So I was saying that we got a whole bunch of. We touched on a whole bunch of different production, and then even so, like. From this tape right here, y'all gonna get a different tutu that y'all, you heard? Y'all gonna get that tutu that you didn't expect. You understand? That's a fact. Y'all gonna hear I how already he don't know what the fuck to expect from him, like, though. <laughs> basically, what he trying to say is, like, I got all types of music, you feel me? Booty shaking music for the bitches, you feel me? You got I got the killer you music for the everything. gangsters, you feel me? Like, whatever you need is in there. I gave y'all a care package. Yeah. That tape is what you need to tune into. That's it's not fact. what y'all just been used to, you understand? It's not yeah. just drilled out or none of that, you understand? He really does music. You he's, feel me? He's really an artist, you understand? 
Nah, he creating his own and genre. And it took me a while that. to get that. I ain't gonna front. I've been working for a while, but hard work Built. pays off. I can say, you feel me? Yep. Just keep working, y'all. You feel me? I to mean, all the upcoming artists, just keep working, my nigga. Shout Bro, out to our manager, Vakaron Don, because he <laughs> and Mo. Shout out to Vak and Mo. And Mo, Yo, Mo show your face, show, my nigga. You heard <laughs> that we <laughs> we were in that studio and Orlando too. Shout out to Orlando. Shout out to my A and R Orlando. Orlando. Shout out to the whole Atlantic. <laughs> y'all know the vibes, man. It took me a while That's to get true. here. Feel me? Let's no, get I, it. I love this energy because the first time I interviewed you, things were kind of just starting to get bubbling. Um, you were coming off the tail end of dealing with a lot of legal bullshit. To see you out here now, the hair is clean, the, everything's twisted up right. Like the project's out. It seems like you're in a great space. Yeah. Um, I have to ask you because I know people are gonna always ask about Kodak. Has he had a chance to hear the tape? Hear thoughts on the tape? Have y'all spoke about it at all? I mean, yeah, he he heard my tape and shit. All right. That's my man's, you feel me? What's his feedback? Because I know his his opinion means a lot. I mean, y'all gonna see his feedback, you feel me? <laughs> Shit, <laughs> free Kodak, man. <laughs> but of course he fuck with the mixtape, my nigga. Nah, but how how does he like tell you what, as far as working? Like, did you give him any, you know, were you like, yo, how do you Kodak feel about got this a record, that record? Kodak got a future on the mixtape, spin the block, you feel me? Really? Yeah, spin the block on the tape, free <laughs> Kodak Black. Sniper right. gang, blicky gang. Twirl gang, I know the vibe. <laughs> Twirl gang, now yeah. you out here going crazy, man. I really appreciate you coming through and kicking it with me. Um, what are you looking forward to next? What's what's happening? You gonna hit a tour or something? Cause I know you want to get some of this booty shaking music to the bitches now. <laughs> um, shit, I shit, I'll do tour again. <laughs> me? I just came off tour with Kodak too. You feel me? It was a movie. Dying to live tour was a movie. Nah, it, it might be time for your own, honestly. <laughs> That's I, a fact. I feel like people is tapped in, man. You could really turn shit up out here in these streets. I could, but. Let's get it. Listen, I'm going to talk. I'm gonna Tune talk into to that manager. tape. Tell me what y'all think. Tag <laughs> me. My Instagram, 22G's official. Shout out to Hip Hop Mike, man. Yo, my brother, I'm going to let you run around the city with this big energy you got going on now. Appreciate Let's you hanging it. out we with lit, me. Let's get it. We lit, man. Yo, gang shit. 22G's in the building out here fucking shit up. Make sure you check for the tape. Gang, gang, gang. Yo, going and crazy. if y'all need them beats, man, holla at me. <laughs> at Teddy, Teddy Dawn. Dawn Shout one, out to heard. all the Blickies. Nas, Blicky, Nick, heard. Blicky, Breezy, Blicky. Shout out to the whole Brooklyn flat boys. Stain Blicky. Everywhere, you heard? K-Tone, MV Kane, <laughs> shit, Dense Flocks, Yazir Berlin, shit. Shout out to all the Brooklyn artists too, you feel me? All, all the NYC artists, shit, y'all all doing y'all thing. I fuck with y'all niggas. Everybody. But, you feel me? <laughs> out here grinding. Blicky to blicky to blicky to blicky. Gang, gang, gang. The looks, man. My man, Hot 87. Gang shit.